Last week I gave you guys a like goal of 100,000 for me to dress up as a maid for our hacker replay video. And we didn't make it. Yet. We're currently at 34,000, so you guys can still possibly make it. So don't forget to go like that video and also this one. Okay, the first match, or first two matches are interesting ones. Or I saved it for the first one because I, from the text document he included, it seemed interesting. We have... Wayne Evolved, who's accusing Big Nasty. In two matches, he said he got him back to back. And he's accusing him of cheating, saying that in the first match, he didn't really look at it. But he's like, in the second match, I watched it back and it looked pretty suspicious. So we'll see. So the coastline is the first match. So Wayne Evolved accusing Big Nasty, and he got him two matches in a row. I'll hope that the first match isn't incredibly suspicious, because if it is, then we're just gonna have a very short second session, because that'll be two matches done in like one minute. Hey Chris, I sent you a VOD to review by email for Chalet Casual. Did you happen to get it? And I'll say this in this recording, so it goes on YouTube. Do not email me <laughs> the matches. Don't email them. At the, in the description of every single one of these Hacker Replay videos, the first link is a Dropbox where you can submit them. If you email them to me, I delete the email. I don't even look at it. I don't even consider them. They're deleted immediately. If you want to submit a clip, it'll usually be the first link in the video, in the description. If you email it to me, I ignore it and I delete it. Anyways, back to the actual match. This guy is acting a little weird. He's not blatantly looking at someone through the wall, but he's holding an angle on this window, which makes me very, or doorway rather, that makes me rather suspicious. Like he hasn't break, broken it. He hasn't done anything to it. So why is he just staring at it? If he kills, actually smokes on the other side, doesn't even matter. But he has a teammate droning for him. Yeah, that was a little weird. So we're going to have to get some more matches, probably, to make this video not super short. We'll see how much, how long the other ones go for. But this is either using walls or wireframe. His outline appears and he shoots. He tried to hide it. Didn't go over well. And I love his self-realization here. He's just like, oh, like, oh, fuck, like, why did I shoot? Gotta, gotta walk away before anything gets suspicious. But yeah, he's cheating. First round, that is enough proof. Next match, we have Obin accusing yeah dot a. Another coastline. Make up for it. Okay, this is a six-round match. And yeah, with a dot in it, or yeah, ah, I don't know, is the one being accused. Where he's repelling now is where somewhere I want to like start pushing as a strat is just breaking that window or armoring through it, and then uh, rushing office because no one ever holds that. He gets a grenade. Yeah, he gets a grenade kill, and we know why. So Doc's just living his life. He gets grenaded. <laughs> he didn't expect the second grenade. Uh, that's funny. He could have just seen, yeah. If he was walling, he would have definitely looked at the frost right away, but he looked past her and then noticed her on the look back. I'm afraid that this is going to be a match of just the enemy team is really bad and this team is decent. You got a good kill on the bandit, but that is such a common angle that like we can't really fault him for getting the kill. And then, oh, I have to watch that back. I really want to see how he did get the kill here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, this might be an instance of 
one team being just a lot better than the other team. We'll see. So far, Sledge, or yeah, hasn't really done anything crazy. He got a 4k that round, but most of the kills were pretty standard. He droned out Doc, grenaded him. He pushed Aqua. The Frost didn't even turn around. Um, he saw her when he, like, his aim passed by. He went to go where the diffuser was, and the bandit was holding a very typical angle and killed him right away, which honestly was just, I think, good on Sledge's part. And then he didn't even know where the lesion was until a lesion shot at him and whiffed. Oh, I really need to stop fast forwarding when there is a, a lion, because I think if I skip ahead after he scans, it just plays his gadgets up infinitely. Is not gonna kill anyone. Yeah, so far this is just playing out like a person who just watched like a coconut bra video and is now just like, I need to use all these angles and get cool kills. His aim did line up with the Valkyrie there, but. It wasn't necessarily suspicious. Oh my god, the spray, he didn't even get it. That was a big yikes. He's reloading everything before he pulls out the goo. Bold. Oh, the aim downside is glitched. Really suspicious or anything on the Valkyrie there. Okay. What was this flick on to Bandit? Oh, okay. He sees his head and he flicks right over. Looked fine to me. He actually saw his head for a little, like quite a while there as well. What does it look like in real time? Yeah, like it looked fine. He realized there's a head there and he flicked over. Looks like he just has decent aim. Oh, don't worry, Sophia will stand right here. Doc's running out of time. He's basically just got to push here, spray him, and then go right on the diffuse. He doesn't have time anymore. He wasted too much. If I were him, I know it's hard to, you know, it's hard not to go for the stim in that situation, but you just don't. You got to push him. You got to be aggressive. I mean, I'm sure he didn't know how much health he was at, but if you just sit there and stim, that's like six, seven seconds wasted. When the diffuse time is seven seconds, you have less than 20 left. You can't be wasting that. Or if you do stim, you gotta immediately sprint out and try to go for the kill. Like, the enemy team's even barricading between sites. Oh, that was unlucky. He breaks the barricade and look. The Twitch is right here. As Twitch would finally become in, becoming in view, Mute looks over here and it just barely blocks her. He would be able to see her right here, but he was too focused on the window. Did he see the bandit? Or hear the bandit? Wasn't really paying attention to that. He could see the bandit's arm. So it's possible that he reacted off that. Yeah, so far it just looks like a player who's really good. What was that? No one's on drones giving calls. 
it looks so stuttery right here. Or like, it looks like it warps him back. So he goes, he pushes up, starts aiming up, but then it like teleports him forward two steps. Then he backs up. That seemed really strange. I don't think that would be a cheat or anything. It probably is just a match replay bug, but he locked onto Bandit's head. I mean, he didn't really. I'll go back and watch it in case I missed something, but it, like, like I said, it looks like he just is better and he's just walking through sight. Okay, so he gets the kill on Maestro. Probably saw Bandit's arm there. I can see what you guys mean. Okay, so right there, you can kind of see Bandit stick out a little bit. And remember, what we're seeing is from the perspective of Mute. So it's possible that from Twitch's actual perspective, you know, including Ping and stuff, maybe she saw Bandit more. Like right here, you can see him sticking out. And it's possible on Twitch's screen, they would have seen him stick out even more. You guys are saying he lined him up through the wall to the head. But it's, it also looks like he's just aiming towards her because he knows where he is. Because he saw him. And is he holding an angle on the door? Uh, like, for me, this, this is easily a situation that I would catch myself in as well. Because it's like I'm trying to aim in that direction but holding the door and I aim too far to the left and then I correct it. It did look a little buggy, like it just flicked over to his head in one frame, but we've had a lot of issues with match replay recently, so wouldn't surprise me. So we know they win, but they obviously lose these next two rounds. Okay, so it looks like attackers just kind of flooded and killed everyone else. I think next round I should have sound again. So far, it does read just like someone, like I said, who's a lot better. And now, since they were up 3-0, they're like, let's have some fun. Let's try to peek everyone and try to kill everyone. And then when that stops working, or that when that gets them to 3-2, to two, he's just like, yeah, let's, uh, let's actually try again. I just love Dex, bro. That was a good hey, pistol shot. Going? If I had to guess, I think this guy is like easily a diamond player, or maybe just a high platinum player. Or it could, like I said, be an issue with the enemy team just being significantly worse. There we go. I just love Dex, bro. Gotta kill Zofia before she withstands. <laughs> I love still mentioning Zofia withstand. The, uh, the kids in the community who are huge Zofia withstand uh, stands. Get so pissed when you mention it. They're like, I knew Siege was gonna die the day they removed Zofia with Stand. It's like, okay. If that's what caused you to hate the game and leave it, then good riddance. Trying to deal with the Blitz. He landed, I think, one shot and all that. Two, three. Man, the... I just love Dex, bro. The MPX does so little damage, even from that close. Did he... Oh, you're used to C4. I was wondering why he wasn't just... Yeah. That Blitz uh, was not entirely sure what he was doing. He pushes up. I mean, he was actually looking at Valkyrie pretty accurately. I don't know how v Valkyrie got to see so much of him here. So this is a long-standing issue that Ubisoft had actually fixed before. Right now, as it stands, I think it's like if you move every 30 degrees or something, then your body will actually move with you. Um, otherwise, your body stays in the same position, which is why you get a lot of the issues where people are like aiming one way, but they kill you even though you're over there because their animation doesn't like keep up with it. And Ubisoft did actually fix it. The issue that came alongside it is that every single time if you were prone and you would turn even just like half a degree left or right, your entire body would shift and make so much noise. So proning was basically useless. You could never prone anywhere. 
And then the fix was to fix shields because then as you're pushing someone, if you just keep your mouse on them, they will not be able to shoot you. But then they had to revert it because proning was useless and they were like, eh, it's not worth breaking proning just to fix that. Personally, I would rather... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm a snake player. I like proning. But I think for the balance of the game, probably makes more sense to have shields be accurately represented. Yeah. Looks like this guy is just better. Don't yet to see the last kill. It won't change our mind. Level 48 with a 1.61 KD. I'm guessing probably just a smurf leveling him up for ranked. Playing a lot of unranked. He has a 60% win rate, so not even crazy high. 1.6 KD is not that kill. bad. Or not that high. I mean, fuck, I think I have like a 2 point something KD. We have Complexi, who's accusing Leone is my crush. I am already willing to bet that the person is cheating because their name, Leone is my crush, sounds like an anime reference. Because a lot of anime people put like their favorite character from their anime, or we people, put their favorite character from their anime and then say, is my crush. And if you're a weeb, you're probably cheating in Siege, because weebs, you know, suck. I forget Chris isn't a weeb. If I ever become a weeb, that's when you guys should just abandon my channel. Oh god, what am I watching? Oh my god. When you make that phase. I don't even know what phases I make, but there are some times where I just see stuff. I'm like, how? How is this? How is this a thing? How do people do this? The worst I've ever done recently was when an org in top of the stairs where I grenaded and then the grenade bounced off the door. I think that was even in yesterday's video. I can't remember. I grenaded and it bounced off the door and almost hit me. But it's because I was strafing and so I threw it a little bit too late. It almost hit me, but blowing myself up? Mm, no. Not happening. Oh my god. Please, guys, for future reference, if you ever submit a hacker replay, please never play Yana in the match, because Yana's audio is broken. And Yana team killed. Or down the sledge. But god, I, every time she uses her clone, it's so broken. This guy's not the greatest with grenades. He put that away. Like, he was literally about to die there doing that, I think. Put it away just in time. I don't think he gets a kill here. I think the uh, rest of the team cleans it up. Yeah, he doesn't. There's no way. So these guys look like they want to rush every single round. Which, I can't remember if this is ranked or not. This is pretty common in unranked. Just rushing non-stop. I don't think this will amount to much, but it does look kind of weird that here, he checks the stairs super slowly, like as if he already knew someone was there. But, yeah, let's go back and see if anyone had called him out. Oh, okay, that makes sense. We couldn't tell because the match replay is bugged as shit, but it's because the wall's reinforced. That's why he droned it out really weirdly, is because he's like, someone has to be here, because the wall's reinforced. That makes sense. I'm happy we went back and watched that so we know that it isn't necessarily suspicious. I'm actually 
surprised that the frost is not shooting here. That part was a little bit weird. Like he aims at him there and just kind of like waiting for him. But maybe he heard him. We won't uh, won't claim anything just yet. The Yana clone got destroyed from the bathroom, so he knows someone's over there. They're actually about to be flanked, and if he doesn't realize this, then it'll be a credit towards him not being a cheater. Kind of looked back for a second, but then just left. Now I think his team is about to be destroyed on the flank, yeah. That was a really good reaction time there. Ooh. He had a really good reaction time on the Womai, and it looked like he was basically ready to shoot at the Mozzie and the Thunderbird as soon as he swung, but... Yeah. Got destroyed by the Mozzie. One rarely sees a hacker drone to this extent. Sometimes. I mean, that's kind of all merged together, obviously, because we've watched so many hacker replays recently. Or since I started the series, but... Um... Like, there are trends with a lot of hackers, and that's how I can call people out usually with a little bit more certainty. Being like, I know that they're doing this, this, and this. Um, but some cheaters do use drones, cameras, and stuff to try to validate their claim. Because like we had a person in the last hacker replay who was droning a lot, and then would just kill people as soon as he was pushing them because he knew where they were. And then he'd be like, oh, I was on drone. Like, some people do do that in order to give themselves some validity. We'll fast forward. How many matches have I gone through? This is going to be my 10th. This is my 10th match. Technically, I didn't go over one of them because the guy submitted two of them. And in the very first match, we could tell the guy was cheating right away. So there's no point in watching the second one. Although I'm, I'm curious how the second match he managed to take it to overtime. First match was a 5 or 4 1. And uh, the hacker just like completely traced and walled all of them. I guess he, we only saw the first little bit where he, uh, he shot at someone because his outline appeared. Still, I don't know. He's done absolutely nothing this round. How many matches will I go through? We have two more matches after this. And then that's it for today. That looked like a really good reaction time. But again, he's expecting these people to push here. Eh even that great a reaction time. Or like not crazy. It was, it was a good one, but just not insane. They see some running in. He's ready for him. Yeah, I didn't say it's anything crazy. I don't think he necessarily heard him running. I think he just like the zero's arm was visible and then he just kept running in a straight line. Like it's hard not to react to that. You know? These matches are both the best and the worst. Where so many kills happen right away. Great, which means we don't have as much to like, you know, break down. But then it also means that the rounds can take a long time for us to watch because we're just waiting for something to happen with our guy. It was a little bit weird. Okay, well Twitch pushed in, so he's probably expecting Twitch to already be inside. He just kind of sprayed around. And he ran, like, Twitch ran out. It did look like he was almost locked onto the Twitch through the wall, but... That tree play. Could be a thing. And then Twitch walks into the shot. This is the first time we've been 
really suspicious of him. And it's on round five. Like, if he has one round that we could deem suspicious, I don't think we really call him a cheater, because one round is not enough. Now we move to round six. Honestly, I was expecting this guy, since he went Frost, to do the uh, barricade exploit, and then that would be the reason why they accused him. But he hasn't done that yet, which is good. What's the exploit? I won't tell you how to do it, but what it is essentially is... You can break a barricade on your screen, but it's not broken on the enemy screen. So they'll just see it as a normal barricade, um, and then you can shoot through it and kill them easily. It's a very popular exploit right now. A lot of people are doing it. It was featured in today's uh, Duel to Diamond, which by the time this video comes out will be like two weeks ago. But um, yeah, as of the day of the recording, it was in the Duel to Diamond where someone used the exploit. That was a little bit weird there. He opened up the hole like as if he was trying to see them and then realized they're on the bottom floor, but he also just got killed coming back. He wasn't even ready for this guy to be here. Didn't even see him, so. This one is kind of one of the ones where it's like, what's he doing here? Like he's doing some suspicious things. Like he's just kind of staring at nothing, which looks like he's looking at the people through the wall. But he hasn't really done that at all during this match, so why is he all of a sudden doing it? It looked very, very obvious, like he was actually looking at them through the walls. It depends. If he kills the Sophia, like, easily... Like, I know that he knows that Sophia's here, obviously, because she just killed him, but like... Looked like he was almost ready when she peeked. What if Callie could, uh, you know how right now if you melee the mirror, it shatters? What if Callie could shatter it by shooting like six shots into the mirror? It'd be a really dumb and weird interaction, but it would at least uh, make her be able to counter her a bit. Okay, smoke deploys. You can't even see the Cali who ran in, but when he peeks, he's kind of like pre-firing where they are, but then he whiffs. Uh, I don't know. So far, I would say this guy doesn't have walls, but if he does, because he was kind of looking at them through the walls where they spawn and stuff, he's really bad, even with walls. It's also seeing small stuff like that that makes me question previous rounds that we had watched, where it's like, he rushed pretty confidently all the time. Like, he would drone a decent amount, but he just kind of knew that where he could walk up to before he would have to start droning. And it seems a little weird that he can, or that he did that so... Consistently. No one drone that out, from what I can tell. But he knew that the person, the Ella, was going to be waiting there. Or, like, the way he reacted, he shot so fast as soon as she peeked, like, as if he knew. Which is what has me just a little bit concerned. There's no reason for him to, like, I guess know that quickly. That noise? What is that noise? Like, watch. He's watching here. Well, I guess, okay. Now that I watch that back in slow motion, it's a little less, like, crazy or obvious. Because she is like, he's kind of just holding the ge general angle of this wall, and then she peeks very slowly, he sees her, and then he just starts spraying. Oops. That's not crazy. It's not crazy. Now, if he does this again multiple times with other people, then we know what to be suspicious of. Right now, he's just in a gun fight with Ella from across the map. So 
Hella peaks. I know he only shot half those bullets because that 0 0.5 makes it sound like he's constantly shooting when he's not. Mm, wasn't crazy or anything. That is either the world's biggest coincidence or he's tracking him through the wall. Let's try to determine what he could possibly be trying to watch. So he reloads, Thunderbird pushes up the stairs, Thunderbird dies. He's holding here, so he holds the angle for right here for some reason. I guess he could be watching and waiting for someone to walk out. But then he kind of keeps strafing. He's holding to the left, which is kind of close to the Womai for some reason. And he keeps it on Womai. He adjusts his aim to be towards the door. He could be holding the door still. And now it's kind of like he's waiting for the Womai to peek. This could be another instance of just like... We only had one incident that I could say would be cheating. Uh... Okay. It is possible. Because the smokes don't cover completely. It is possible that here... Actually, no, they cover more than completely. Never mind. What am I... Well, hold on, hold on. The second watch back looked weird because the smoke didn't fully cover it. Let's see if it fully covers it now. Yeah, that's completely covered. He can't see shit. He either has the best situational awareness and like remembering where things were in the world that he could shoot exactly at that doorway, or he's cheating. So we first noted in round six, he started watching people through the walls. Or no, that was round seven. This round, he tracked the Womai through the wall, and then when Womai pushed and he was completely covered in smoke, he headshot the Womai like it was nothing. Jackal tracking? I don't think so, because Jackal was by the main stairs. Womai was on the opposite side of the map. We can check. We can check. I, I forgot that they had a Jackal. That is a good point. Jackal tracks... Womai? So the track would have gone off right there, like at that exact moment. Okay. If he did track him, we're going to have to go back and see. Let's try to track the footprints by the connector door. Was Wamai over there? 145-ish, so we have to look at anything from 245 onwards. I think I crashed it. Yeah, it crashed. Okay, when was the last time that Wilmai was at connector door? So in the prep phase... So he was there at 22 seconds left in the prep phase, which means that his footprints... I believe they last 90 seconds. They would have disappeared by 1 minute 50 seconds. Unless he comes back. Okay, so now it's like more closer to 1 minute and 45 seconds. We'll see if he ever goes back there. I 
Is he hacking or pre-firing the door is my question, because I know where Bandit is and she throws and shoots from the door, doesn't she? What? I don't know. We'll see in a bit. We'll try to get the answer ourselves. So... He's tracking exactly here. The last time he stepped there was at 24 seconds left. If the footprints last for 90 seconds, I'm pretty sure they do. That means the footprints would last until 1 minute and 54 seconds. Jackal tracks at 1 minute 45. Which means that his footprints should not be there. And even here, when he backs up, he doesn't go right here, which is, this is exactly where Jackal's tracking. He walks this way. So, based off of what we've seen, it should not be possible that Jackal is tracking him. Now we'll watch from the attacker's perspective and see if they look over at Bandit or not. A minute. Yeah, like, it's way too long gone for him to be tracking one by. It's just not possible. Yeah, he looks over at Bandit. Okay. We'll see from other perspectives as well, just to make sure. Okay, but looks like from what I can tell, they tracked Bandit. Now the only thing left that we can see, or try to determine is if Sledge is watching on the drone. I don't see any drones on site. Or at least none that should be able to spot the Wumai. And I believe all drones show up with outlines now, no matter what. Yeah, even if they're not on it, people, or they're still outlines. So there is no way that Wilmai could have been spotted. He tracks the Wilmai through the wall without Jackal tracking there. So that was just a pure track through the wall. It's completely smoked here. He can't see anything. He headshots immediately, and then runs away after this. And the last one's being tracked by Jackal, because they know where he is, or knew where he was. Okay. We'll watch the last round, and we'll see if Thermite does anything. But from what we can tell there, there is absolutely no reason why Thermite should know that Wilmai is there, other than just hearing him shoot. It's possible he could shoot back in the general direction, but he immediately went onto the head and destroyed him without like even spraying or anything. It was just a complete lock on or clock close to and hit the head. And based on what we've seen so far in this match, this guy isn't good enough to be like, I heard him shooting, I'm gonna pre-fire that. Because in other rounds, he has literally seen people walking right towards him, and he's missed the shots. So I don't think the whole, well, my shooting is a good argument. Also, well, my did shoot from there, but then he stopped shooting, and then he threw an impact. It's not like he was actively shooting and Frost could use that as like a sound whoring technique. It just it doesn't really make much sense. And again, with what we saw in round seven, where he was just tracking people through walls or like watching them, and in round eight, when he straight up tracked the Wumai as Wumai was running to Wine Cellar, it seems pretty fishy in two rounds. And even there, it looked like he tried to track him. Like right here, he's just watching as Malusi is kind of getting into a fight. He could, I'm like, he could hear the Nomad, sure. But it almost looked like he was ready for it. He dies. I'm assuming they lose in overtime. All those things coupled together just make it too suspicious for me. 
We'll look at his stats and we'll see. It seems unlikely with everything that happened. It all unfolded super quickly. Like the rounds before that were all fine. And then one round looks at them through the wall after they spawn. Next round tracks someone through the wall and then shoots them through smoke. It just seems too, like too much all at once. Really want to see who wins here. Okay, so the accusers, team one. His stats don't help. He's a level 55 with a 3.4 KD in ranked. That's really high. He Qs with the Toxic and Sneaksy guy. We're both in that match. Toxic is... I want to see if they're all like level 50-ish together and have high KDs, then maybe they're just Smurfs. Level 91. Sneaksy. Level 129. I don't know. That is... That's tough. From the rounds we watched where we weren't suspicious of him, he did not play like a, a smurf. He played really poorly. Oh, this is a tough one. I believe from round 7 and 8, there was more than enough evidence to suggest walls. And with his high stats, that piles on top of it. And... The fact that he was like tracing or watch, watching people and spawn through the wall, tracking someone through the wall, but then all the rounds previous to that, he was just shit. I don't know. He also, there was one round on defense, I think it was round six, where he was watching the Mira, they smoked out sight door, and then he immediately swung and pre fired where the person went, but he missed. I don't know. I feel like it probably is a cheater. It could be a really high level account smurfing, but like I said, the first five rounds, he did not play well. And like even in that last round, he didn't play well. He died really quickly because he was just not good. And yet somehow he has a 3.4 KD. All right, move on to the next match. Um, in both of these matches, they're accusing someone who's queued with someone else. We might have to drop one of these matches if it goes too long. We're already at an hour and tw 12 minutes. And we have... This one is a 7 round match. The next one is a 9 round match. This one's 7 because the guy disconnected for the last 2. We can only watch up to 7. But here we have the big 4L. Who's accusing Zenfu.nbs. Oh, on his team. And Sea Sponge. Wait, hold on. He's already looking at someone, but... Is that there normally? B, one, two, three, B... This is not here normally, right? This is... I don't remember ever seeing any of this. Whatever. Move on. So we can probably already assume that he's cheating because he looks at him, he's hiding behind the car, and he knows the guy has left, and he knows he can push up safely because he knows there's no one hiding there anymore. Yeah, this is definitely a render or texture failure. He's not afraid at all of his left side because he knows the three people are, or two of the three are over here. Where's the third one? Way off site. Yikes. The type of person that needs cheats. Someone who whiffs all those shots. So interesting here that he uh comes over here before Valkyrie shoots or does anything or before these guys even get in he's already running over here he knows that she's on blue stairs you know it could have been a freak accident I know we'll say or people say that they hate when I say that but you never know I've had plenty of instances that could have been really suspicious but it was just a freak accident this is probably not one of those
These two are on drones. Everyone's over here. No one's even droning this. Oh my god, dude. He is so bad. Okay, yeah. There it is. There is the 100% proof. We don't need to watch another round, but... You can see that he, he just knows. He knows where people are. I'm curious if he'll, uh... Oh my god, he's so bad. Yeah, I was wondering if he'd go for this Valkyrie here. He knows she's there. Like, he's there looking at her. Yeah. Alright. Zenfu.nbs is 100% cheating. He has not been banned. He's currently in plat 3 with a 1.5 KD. How has he not been banned? 135 matches. 135 matches. And he hasn't been banned? One sec. Doesn't even turn the drone. Doesn't try to make an effort to make it look like he's going to uh, watch the diffuser. I'm just confused as to how he can be so blatant and no one else has reported him. V2. He knew. Wanna see if he can just like Yeah. Alright, well that's all the proof we need. We've seen him in three rounds now just literally track people. He knows where it's safe to be because he can see that other people aren't pushing. He's only concerned about where the one person is. Okay, last match. We'll try to make this one a quick one, even though it's an overtime match. In this match, we have Amberlin11, who's accusing no cancel, and Achintia Bakshi. Look. Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. He, he can see him outside. Well, let's say he's 100% being blamed there if he's just watching him. Why does it feel like this guy's trying really hard to hide his cheats? We get this a lot, um, where the people are cheating, so they spend the first few rounds just being a complete bot so that their team won't report them. It always backfires, though, because and eventually when they end up just popping off and doing amazing, the people are like, how would you just go from being a bot to being amazing? That makes no sense. Yeah, like, see, he's trying to be a bot. Be like, oh, can I fuse that? Can I breach it? And he kept, he keeps, like, kind of swaying his aim towards people where he knows where they are. Yeah, he's trying really hard to make it look like a bot is playing. Unless he really is just that much of a bot. He cluster charges himself. I think he's trying to make people not suspicious of him. Oh, they did the two operator bug. Maybe that's why they got reported. Also, another thing that obviously lets us know that this guy is not the bot that he's trying to appear to be is the fact that they know how to do this double operator uh, exploit bug thing. But then they claim they can't, like they don't know where they can fuse charge. Like. Yeah, you guys definitely know how to do this bug, but you're trying to fuse charge a hard wall. Like, I think they were ready for her before she even ran out. Or did she? Oh, she impacted it. Okay. That makes sense. I'm 
just making sure. God, the fucking noise that I have all the time. The fact that he's playing like a bot like this on purpose. See, like, look. Before I say what I'm about to say. Look, he shoots Oryx. Perfect aim. And then here, aim just goes everywhere. The fact that he's playing like such a bot and he still isn't dying is insane to me. And, like, the enemy team must be so bad if they just can't kill him. That's not even just one or two. It's like, it seems like all of them are just not shooting at him. I just have E-star 6. So they reported them because of the double fuse thing. We know that. Also look at how he suddenly stopped playing like a bot there. So they probably reported him for the double op. Okay, I'm looking at the report. He actually says, yeah, or like the text file that was attached with it. He says the reason why he reported them is because they're doing the double operator glitch. So, yeah, not because he's going crazy or anything. Even 12 kills in nine rounds is not insane. I was like, maybe he had a few rounds where he just went insane. No, they're, they report him for the double operators. Don't submit one of a double operator glitch. It's probably going to be fixed by the time this video even comes out. But, well, actually each so you never know um but don't submit them because they're not don't like things like that are not cheating those I are exploits i understand submitting something like the barricade one because that one's really hard to tell unless you know but something like the double operator thing that's just a bug or exploit so there's no need to report those i'm looking for matches where people are doing suspicious things like pre-aiming people tracking through walls or you know using actual cheats try to submit only those but obviously, if you find a match that you think is super suspicious, submit it. But that is going to be it for the second session. So we had, just to recap, a cheater in both of these matches was the same cheater. The yeah guy was not cheating on coastline. Leone is my crush. Did we determine? No, he. I don't think he was cheating. Oh wait, no, that was the one where it was like we weren't entirely sure. I I think he was cheating probably. And then Zenfu, who was 100% cheating, and then double operator glitch. So that is four cheaters, one not cheating, one just exploiting or bugging. Not bad. I want to throw something in. As he's swinging the door, he pre-aims where the Jaeger is through the wall and aims for the head, but Sludge gets the kill. Now...